Hey, Moglets. So you know I really like my Hu Tao. And when the Shimanawa set first came out, I was like, hmm, that could be actually pretty interesting for her. Because I'm really more of a fan of her charge attacks than her ult. I know her ult can be big PP numbers, but like... The charge attack just goes off so fast. And I have, I think, finally a decent, with big air quotes, Shimanawa full set for uh, my Hu Tao. And I wanted to try that out today. First, of course, we are going to keep her in the set I currently have, which is two-piece Millilith, which is HP, and Witch of Flames, which is Pyro Damage. I guess that would generally be the preferred set, maybe a two-piece Oblige instead of HP for more ult damage, whatever you want. But just to get some baseline numbers before we actually swap the set out, we're going to uh, hit up our good friend Masa Nori, just to get some consistent numbers. Not really going to bother with Kazuha, because I'm not really sure how he works. I'm just going to do the good old Water Dude. Um, Hu Tao combo. So I saw a 59k Vaporize there. Yeah, 59. I'm really only looking at her uh, charge attack Vaporizes because those are like what I'm trying to increase here. Naturally, with Shimanawa, it means she can't do ults as often because every time she does E, she'll lose 15 energy. Though I've noticed Hu Tao gets energy decently quick when she starts spamming her charge attacks. So she probably could still do it before her E runs out. But I digress, 59k, that's uh, what, what we're working with here. Let's just go ahead and die. I also saw a 57k vaporized charge attack, so I don't know why it would be different. Ah, uh, maybe because the pillar hitting. I think that is also some kind of boost because Zhongli has four piece Millilith. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, 59k. So I just have to make sure the pillar is hitting him because uh, that's when Zhongli's full Millilith stuff. All right, just keep everything consistent. Now I'm just gonna leave. Also, let's take a quick look at the attributes because I think, you know, even though I say I have a decent set, I think her attributes are still gonna be quite a bit worse because I've had a lot more time to farm Crimson and Millilith. So that's just what it is. But we have 2K attack, 75 EM, 201 crit damage, 62 crit rate. So we just gotta kind of keep that in mind. Currently 94 pyro damage bonus? She must get some by leveling up, I guess. I finally found a decent HP sans. It went into mostly crit rate here, as you can see. The rest wasn't that great, so I'm glad it went mostly into crit rate at 12.8 there. So I was happy with that. We are gonna be sticking with HP here. Although Elemental Mastery was another consideration I had, so if I had gotten a good Elemental Mastery Sands, maybe I would have gone for that instead. But besides that, I do want to try and keep her stats close together, so we're really only seeing the difference from Shimanawa. Maybe we'll try Elemental Mastery another day. I believe we do have to keep her off-piece uh, goblet the same, yes indeed. And besides that, we have to take a lot of Yoimiya stuff off. Uh, thankfully, we do have an okay crit rate, some Elemental Mastery, some attack. Unfortunately, no crit damage, which is... Way more important for Hu Tao because of her really low base attack, that 15% isn't doing much. But I digress, let's just keep going. We have raised three plumes, I'm not sure exactly why. We'll probably choose the plume later because I know we only have a couple, yeah. Um, but for now, let's see what we got here. Actually, this one's really good, you know, HP is always nice. Crit rate, element of mastery, crit damage, I couldn't really ask for anything better to be honest. So yeah, I think we're gonna go for this one. This one is also quite good, you know, still some HP, which is good for Hu Tao. Crit rate, crit damage, element of mastery, can't really ask for much more there. It's basically perfect for her. The one Yomiya has on though does have a hundred element of mastery, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I think this plume is the best. Actually, it's not as horrible of a set as I originally thought. Let's check out the attributes. She has almost exactly the same amount of attack. I think our crit damage is going to suffer a bit here, though. Yeah, we have 20% less crit damage, but more crit rate. So it might be a little bit more consistent. More elemental mastery as well. Quite a bit more. But much less pyro damage bonus. What did we... Oh, yeah, of course. The two-piece crimson set. Very little energy recharge as well. We'll see if it's enough. But yeah, actually, I don't know if the stats are necessarily worse, they're just kind of different. Like, yeah, we do have less crit damage and pyro damage bonus, but we do have more elemental mastery and crit rate. So while the numbers might not be as big, they should be more consistent with the boosted crit rate. And, you know, potentially bigger with elemental mastery, plus, of course, Shimanawa set. Um, you know, the loss of pyro damage bonus is because of the gain of 50% charge attack. Please have a Hu Tao rerun so I can actually get C1 and not have to master the, the jump cancel because I can't. She just actually jumps in the air. I don't know if she's supposed to do that. I've tried it a few times and it just seems like she can do charge attacks so much slower like that. Enough rambling. I'm hoping to see like, I don't know, if we can do 65k with a charged, I'll be a happy boy. Getting that shield first. Also... 
Oh no. Come back here. Uh, now we have his ult. Here we go. 69. Oh yeah. Oh, and see, she has her ult already with no energy recharge. So that didn't really hurt at all. Huh. Interesting. 69. That's 10k more per charged. That's quite a lot, honestly. What am I really missing here, though? I'm actually really not sacrificing anything. I mean, when her ult is already full and she does the E and loses that energy, she can get it back easily, it seemed like, before um, her E runs out. But, you know, when she's already starting with so little here, you can see it'll take a lot longer to actually get her ult, probably. Uh, especially with no energy recharge. I want to try that again, though. That was, uh, that was really interesting. Uh, no... Water dude doesn't have his ult. All right, here we go. Sixty nines, yeah, sixty nines. You know what? I think just for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, totally mathematically speaking, I can't tell you if it's a DPS loss or not. Obviously, it'll take her fifteen extra energy on top of the sixty it already costs, so it'll be seventy-five basically, um, unless you're doing multiple E's before ult but I mean with this set she's also doing 10k more damage per charged actually no it's more than that because she hits once with the basic attack which is also getting boosted by 50% and then the charged so it's even more also it'll of course have a 100% uptime because it lasts for 10 seconds and the duration of guide to afterlife is 9 seconds so yeah Obviously, you're going to do your rotation once Hu Tao's E is gone anyway. Very interesting. I didn't expect it to make that much of a difference, honestly. And like I said, I don't think her build is better or worse. She traded some pyro damage and some crit damage for Element Mastery, which, you know, Element Mastery is obviously quite good for Hu Tao, but still. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too hard to uh, pyro swirl with Hu Tao because she kind of only does pyro with her attacks and if you swap out they're kind of gone so i guess we could also try mona just for fun and see how high we can get her charge attacks all right i think the setup is pretty much ready to go let's give it a try 81 i saw an 81 before <laughs> he died okay not bad she may have been over 50 percent hp at that point because yeah benny Whatever, let's go try some daily quests. Gonna go back to my regular team though, and I guess I'm just gonna keep Benny, cause like, I, I don't know how to pyro swirl with Hu Tao. Let's just see how it works in some normal gameplay, I suppose. You know, getting all the water stuff to start. I don't know, doing some Benny. Whatever, that's good enough. I guess, more or less, if not frozen. It's really hard to see, but yeah, like, you know, without vaporize, that was a vaporize. We're still getting like 30k, which is crazy. Well, my thought so far is I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Obviously, she won't be able to do her ult as often, uh, but I would say when she already has her ult going into a battle, she can easily get it before her E runs out. Um, so I think that's the most important thing for me in particular. I actually don't think she has a ton less HP than she did before. 34.9k yeah i mean there hasn't been much to say going through my daily quests and i think that one over there is a talking quest because yeah like i already deduced uh she's doing a, about 10k more damage which is uh quite good let's see boom boom how much was that 60 i don't know fast as usual i did see a 79 there <laughs> Uh, child is just so uh, so kind of weak. I guess she doesn't have a horrible base attack as long as she has Staff of Homa. So also the 18% attack boost from the two piece isn't horrible. <laughs> Looking at my Eula's base attack, maybe it is kind of horrible. But I think Eula has one of the highest alongside like maybe D Luke or something. Oh, Ganyu with that over 1000. She does have a uh, Skyward Harp though, which has a pretty high base attack. But yeah, I'm going to stick with it for a while, play with it, you know, while I'm not recording and trying to overanalyze everything and see how it just plays normally. And if, you know, losing that 15 energy every time she does her E is a really big hindrance or not. So I'll try and post a comment uh, below this video in a couple of days and uh, maybe provide some further thoughts on it. But for now, I can just see that there's a 10k increase on her charged and, you know, I guess a 15 or so percent like real world damage increase on her basics as well i would imagine i would have to compare those and uh that's pretty cool for me i mean we gave up 20 percent hp and 15 percent pyro damage bonus but 
since we're still doing more damage with basic and charge, it's really quite as simple as trading 15 energy every E for that extra damage. That's basically what it is. It's hard to say right now if one less ult every, I don't know, four casts of it reduces her damage. I would actually like putting it in perspective like that, since, you know, four 15 energies is 160, maybe not in a real world situation, but just like math wise, you're basically using one fourth of an ult to get that, you know, 15% actual damage increase. At least in my case. I don't know if it'll change from Hu Tao to Hu Tao. Maybe my thoughts will change, but we'll see. Make sure to leave your own thoughts in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you did, I'm gonna enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.